Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, back to another tier list. Yes, I am doing the same thing as I did last time, but this time I thought we need to, we need, we need to update it because last time it was a scam of a video, and this time it's a little bit more more effort, if you would say. We have our tiers on the left. We have goated, solid. We have mid tier. We have a bad tier, and we have horrible. A horrible tier. Now these maps are from Black Ops 1. I think no, no, no. World at War to Black Ops 4. Alright, so these we have a little bit of a ranking system as you would like to think. So our ranking things are very simple. It's the enjoyment of the map, how I enjoyed it. So there's my personal experience on the map. Then we have the Easter egg of the map and Easter egg that could be the main quest or any side Easter eggs and then we have the layout of the maps aka where the pocket punch is is it annoying so let's get into it first map on our list we have yeah, Alpha Omega now this map is a remake from Black Ops 2's Nuketown Zombies and as for the layout it's well it's not bad it's not bad the Easter egg I don't mind the Easter egg it is okay you know don't mind the steps my enjoyment of the map, well, I didn't really enjoy it that much. Not, not, not the best. But in saying that, we will put it in mid tier, Alpha Omega mid tier. Right now we have Ancient Evil. Sorry, we have Ancient Evil, another Black Ops War map, the last Chaos map. The Easter egg is quite mediocre, with a couple of easy steps, but an easy Easter egg with some hard and boring ones as well. But for me, personally, the map, you know, I like the map, I don't mind the little god theme with it, and the layout is not too bad as well, pretty easy stuff to get to, you know what, Ancient, Ancient Evil, it's nice, Ancient Evil, solid tier, uh, what is it, Ascension, oh, the easter egg, again, it's solid, solid easter egg, you can't deny that, the layout being, maybe a bit too big, but, you know, the, the, Location of the perk is good. And as for the enjoyment, let's just say I uh, didn't, didn't mind it. But that is that being said, Ascension mid-tier below Alpha Omega. Blood of the Dead. This map is massive. It is so fucking big. But is it there is teleportation, so that's that makes up for it. Not a, not, not bad. The main easter egg is pretty, you know, it's one of the hardest easter eggs, but I challenge, if you like that or not, my enjoyment was, was, f you know, was fun, but for the wrong type of reason, it was type of reason. The layout's not bad, the easter egg's not bad, but it's littered with easter eggs, if you want to be like that, but, one of the dead, mid-tier, above us, and if we move on to Buried, the classic Black Ops 2 map was the last map of the Victus whatever storyline you want it was interesting you know at the end you know the shooting drew at the end of the easter egg making it not so enjoyable but i did enjoy the map the one weapon is fun to use and again the layout isn't bad it's not bad not good either but it's buried solid below ancient evil hall of the dead hall of the dead great characters and george a good easter egg a good e fuck me I'm a good easter egg and again the layout of the map is pretty good small contact I th yep and it, and it's pretty good but personally I, I didn't really enjoy this map that much but it is with saying that it's still a fucking good map so call of the dead blow ancient evil solid we have classified this map being a remake of five being almost the same map. The Easter egg was to get to around 150. And the layout being almost the same. And with this being probably my least played map on Black Ops 4. And with classified horrible. Oh, what's the next map? Dead of the Night. An interesting map. The layout of the map is pretty good, may but maybe a bit too much small hallways and places to get stuck and die and kill yourself. The Easter egg is okay. The boss fight for me saving it and i didn't mind this map had a, had a lot of fun playing it dead of the night top of solid next we have the eyes and this map 
is an easter egg map as i would say a lot of easter eggs in the map not just the main boss fight in the main storyline but a lot of side things you can do i think but the boss fight is okay the layout the layout's pretty complex connects well to each place you gotta go and so very so it's very good very good layout is very good for for me enjoying it it was okay the boss fights are the bows are a nice touch the Eisendrak, top of solid we have die rise this map is interesting their layout for me is dead the cliffs are just jumping and makes it harder the easter egg is again not that great but i did have a lot of enjoyment playing this map so die rise top of horrible five b being a fun map there is no main easter egg quest the layout is solid however i did not enjoy this map so with that being considered five let's put it in bad i okay i realize uh mid mid joe here um alpha omega is now top of bad god crovey this map's easter egg is very good the boss fight's probably all up there one of the best boss fights in the game could argue that it has again the layout is okay but for me the enjoyment it's not bad it's not yeah i didn't mm, yeah god crovey top of mid tier nine map is nine is next nine um, pff, left my nine's layout is very simple but effective the easter egg is very interesting and probably one of the easiest boss fight saving it again and nine being probably my favorite map in black ops 4 i enjoyed it a lot nine being goated that may be a bit too high oh we move on kino de totem this map is very good the layout is easy to use and understand my enjoyment was fun but if we consider the things there was no main easter egg quest so kino de totem bottom of solid what's next mob of the dead talk about good maps this one is nearly in everyone's top five maps. A unique Easter egg with a lot of Easter egg around the maps. The layout is solid and the pap being the only thing I don't like about the layout for me. But I love this map and a lot of good memories and just so much fun. Mob of the Dead. I think we know there's this top of goated. No, top of goated. Fuck my life. Okay, what's next? Moon. Moon, a very good Easter egg. The layout is complex, but good. Good at the same time. However, I fucking do not like this map. So, with that being considered, Moon, mid tier, or low going. Nocturne and Toten, the classic map, of course. No Easter egg, of course, but the layout is simple, and for its time, we consider that. And it was really fun. So, with that being considered, Nocturne and Toten, bottom of mid tier. Alright, next map, Nuke Town. Black Ops 2 Zombies, a classic multiplayer map. The layout is well, not great for zombies, let's be real. Come, come on. Adding to that, the perks come at random times. Or not random set times, but different things. You know, you know what I mean. If you played this map, you know what I mean. I really, I didn't really enjoy this. And there's no Easter egg. So, Die Rise. So, so, sorry, Nuke Town, below Die Rise. Horrible tier. Next, we have Black Ops 2 regions this map is iconic you'd say the easter egg is the most complex and challenging with the layout of the map being again complex and simple my in well that's pretty much so and my enjoyment I, f I think it's probably up there it's probably enjoyment is probably up there origins top of goated uh what's next revelations mm -hmm. the final map of black ops 3 and the only new thing to the map layout was the spawn, pack a punch, mm -hmm. and the map is of course massive, and the easter egg is complex, with the same boss fight as Shadows of Evil, and I didn't really like that, the easter egg, but I did enjoy this map quite a bit. So let's put Revelations top of bad. Doris, Doris again, another great map, simple layout, no main easter egg, so that take that consideration, but a very enjoyable map. Let's say Dio Doris, bottom of mid tier. Shangri-La, I did not enjoy this map. Probably one of my least played map in Black Ops. Black, oh, I'm going to say Black Ops 3. Oh, holy, because it's a remake. Anyways, the Easter egg isn't bad. The layout is solid. Probably top of bad. You know, I reckon that's respectable. Better than Revelations, I'd say so. Shinonuma. 
one of the OG maps. Very fun to play with that layer, being very simple with the trap plays for the high rounds. Plus, there's no Easter egg. So, take that into consideration. Let's go Shino mm, Above. Mm, above. What are we saying? Shino mm, Let's say above moon. Situation. Uh, I think the next one is Shadows of Evil. The first map of Black Ops 3, the layout could be a bit better with the perk random locations. The Easter egg is fun to do and very good. The boss fight being interesting. But I feel I did not enjoy the map. I feel like the Wonder Weapon makes this map too easy. So let's go. Shadows of Evil, above mood, mid tier. Should it be. Mm, I'll tell you, Joy Sheen, no more. That's tough. Yeah, yeah. Next one. Oh. Okay, this one, this may trigger a lot of people. Tag to Totem, the last map in Black Ops 4, it was a letdown. The layout, I like the layout, the layout, I like, I like the addition of the facility to, you already call it a dead map. The Easter egg felt rushed with the, with no boss fight being an, well, being an escort mission. As for enjoyment, I despise this map from my speedrunning days, I just, from, oh my god. So, with that being said, tag, bottom of bad. The Giant being next on the list. A remake of Die Rise. Nope, Darice. <laughs> yeah, it's hard. They both have almost the same name. And it's not a bad remake. Uh, the fun of Diary Darice, but no, no Easter egg again. There is an Easter egg, but it's just to get the Annihilator. Not much to say other than that. I'd say the Giant. Mm, I'm going to put Giant bottom of mid tier. Below Darice, because Darice is better. Now we move on to this map. Oh god. Friends, at the start of BO2, the Easter egg is a pain to do. The layout is disgusting. However, I love playing this map. So with that being said, transit, top of horrible. Top of bad. Or was it top of horrible or top of bad? I think. Yeah, top of bad. No, no, no. Top of horrible. No, it is not. Ooh, yeah. Yeah, I prefer tag to tone of done. Varukt! Again, let's be let's be real here. Varukt, another OG map. Very fun to play. No Easter egg. The layout is good, though. I like the layout. Let's go Varukt, blow moon mid tier. Alright, now we move on to Voyage of Despair. This map is a ship, the Titanic, if you... If, again, the Easter egg is again a pain to do. But the boss fight being, being a very good challenging boss fight. I like boss fights. And the layout of the, it's a ship, so it's not not that isn't decent. But I didn't I enjoyed playing this map blob. So let's go voyage above not mid tier. And we move on to the final map in our tier list. A very complex layout, but with a very good Easter egg, being probably one of the best Easter eggs in Black Ops 3, I reckon. I think. Or storyline. And I haven't played enough Zachibo to enjoy it fully. Without taking into consideration, let's go. Zachibo, bottom of mid tier. And ladies and gentlemen, this is our tier list. Now, if you go over it, let's see if I'll make any, like, really a change from it. So let's go through the horrible tier. We have classified Nuketown, Die Rise, and Transit. And I feel like that is a, that's probably a decent order. In the bad tier, we have tagged a totem, 5, Alpha Omega, Revelations, Shangri-La. Ooh, really? I feel like Shangri-La might have to go mid-tier. But if we go on the ratings, there's no Easter egg, that probably what puts it there. If it were, had to, yeah, yep, Revelations, yep, yep, yep. 5 might have to go down, but I, I enjoy, yeah. Tagged a, yeah, tagged a totem recently, yeah, yep, 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 yep. yep. Mid-tier, we have Zetsubo, no sh we have... Dora Kobe, Shino Numa, Shadows of Evil, Moon, Varak, Blood of the Dead, Ascension, Voyage of Despair, Nocturne Totem, Doris, the Giant, and Zetsuko. I'm thinking this is Shino Numa has to come down. Has to be. I think Shadows beats Shino Numa. Shino Numa, only two things. Moon. Uh, yeah. yeah. No. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I can't change. Solid, we have the Eyes and Drag, Dead of the Night, Ancient Easel, Call of the Dead, Buried in Kino to Totem. I'm happy with that. I'm happy with that. Yeah, yeah. And the rest, nine, Mob of the Dead and Origins. Nine um, is probably... That is my professional tier list. My in-depth tier list. If you did enjoy this, make sure to leave a like. And what tier list should I make next? I have an interesting tier list. A lot of ideas. A lot of ideas. Oh, yep. Oh, I got a lot. 
see you lot in a bit. <laughs>